Hello guys, I'm back and in today's video we are going to program a start-stop motor control same as across the line magnetic starter so these are the ladder diagram we have the start push button emergency stop overload relay motor on lamp drive motor contactor motor off lamp motor trip lamp so let's begin input this ladder diagram to this PLC first input the first rung by pressing OK and inputting I4 normally open contact next input 2 normally open contact press OK next input 3 normally open contact press OK and the output is M1 press OK select M1 press OK Confirm. First line is finished of the first rung. Now the maintaining contact M M1. Press OK. Select M1. Press OK. Press OK again to confirm it. Press uh, 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 press out to create line from M1 to I4. Okay, now we go to the second rung. Press OK, select M1. Make a line, press Alt. Press OK to input Q1, press OK to accept it. Bring the cursor below the Q1, press OK change the numerical value to 5 press ok now create this line by pressing alt and bring down arrow key press alt again third rung Press OK, select M, but this time it is normally closed. There should be a line, small line on top of the M by pressing Alt, pressing OK. Input 3, normally open contact. Press OK, change the numerical value to 3. Press OK, press Alt and make the line. Press OK, input Q2, which is output Q2. Press OK. Now the last rung, the fourth rung, is normally close input 3 and output Q3. Press OK, press Alt to make it normally close or uh, uh, operand with the small line on top of it. Change the numerical value to 3. Press Alt to make line. And press OK to input the Q3. Press OK. Press Escape. Press OK to save it. Go to the program again and then review the ladder diagram. Input 4, input 2, input 3, M1, 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 Q1, Q5, 
normal close M1, normal open I3, Q2, normal close I3, and Q3. I think it's all correct. Now we go escape, and then again save for safety purpose. Press escape again, then run the program by pressing OK. We go to the program and check the ladder diagram online. Since M1 is normally closed and input 3 is activated, so I will change into a larger view, larger view so that you can see the input and output. Okay guys, now we are in a larger view. You can see the inputs and you can see the outputs. And the PLC is in run mode, which, mean, which means that the program inside the PLC is active. So as per the ladder diagram, if we, pr if we press the input 4 and if input 2 and input 3 are active, then M1 will be activated and Q1 will be activated, Q5 will be activated, motor on will motor on lamp will be activated, drive motor contactor will be activated. And since Q2 is already activated, because in the ladder diagram, normal close M1 and input 3 is active, it means that the motor is not tripped, motor off lamp will be activated. So the motor is not running. Q5 is not running. And in case if there is a motor trip, input 3 will be open and input 3 will be closed so that the motor trip lamp will be activated. Let us see. I will press the input 4 which is the start push button. So from the motor of uh, status of the motor, lamp motor on is activated and the contactor or in this case relay is activated. So the motor is running. Now if the emergency stop is pressed, motor will stop, Q5 will stop. And the status will change from motor on to motor off. Now you cannot start the push button unless you release the emergency stop push button by pressing it again. Now you can start the motor by pressing the start push button. Q5 is active, motor on lamp is on. Now, in case that the motor is stripped, let's say by a mechanical problem or an overload, input 3 will be deactivated, the motor will stop, or Q5 relay stop, and the status of the motor becomes motor trip. Orange Q3 lamp will be activated. So of course you cannot start the motor until you reset the overload relay. When you reset the overload relay and the mechanical problem or overload problem is already, already rectified for the motor, if you reset the overload relay, the status of the motor will be motor off. And it is ready now to run. So if you press the start push button, Q5 or motor contactor in this case relay will be activated and at the same time the status of the motor will be motor on. Again pressing emergency stop, motor will stop. You cannot restart the motor unless you release the emergency stop push button 
and in case the motor trips status will be changed to motor trip you can start by pressing the start push button until the overload relay strip and the mechanical problem or overload problem has been rectified just in case everything is rectified you reset the overload relay the motor will be in the motor off status then you can start the motor so this is the start stop motor control same as the cross the line magnetic starter this is the ladder diagram hope you learn uh, ladder diagram programming with this PLC Moiler EC719 and uh, using this PLC you can eliminate some or more uh, uh, conventional wiring okay guys that that's all for this video hope to see you in the next video bye and peace